this, I'm ready. Okay, I will share my screen first. Okay, the last time we stopped at the page page 22 which tackles about should children be allowed to enter beauty pageants? Do you still remember our lesson? That lesson? Yeah? Yes, I, I still remember. All right, that's good to hear. So we will proceed to the debate prompt number nine. Okay, can you read this part? Up until to this part, please. Should student athletes have to get good grades to play sports? So here is a question mark, so it will be read like this way. Should student athletes have to get good grades to play sports? So you are asking, all right, can you read it again, Viet? Should student athletes have to get good grades to play sports? All right, thank you. Can you read this part? Some say athletes should have at least a C average to play sports. Others say this is too strict. What do you think? All right, proceed to this part. Until this part, yeah. It is the con context of the Prompt, should student athletes have to get good grades to play sports? All right, start. Picture this. A good friend of yours has always struggled in school. He's a great guy, but he has a hard time doing well on tests. Despite his troubles in school, however, your friend has a few Few things go away for him. He happens to be the very best ho hockey goalie in this day. In fact, he's go so good. There's a chance he go pro. That's just one thing. In the middle middle of his best season ever, when he's breaking every record in the book. The school board passes a new rule. They say that if you don't have at least a C average, you can't play sport. Your friend average is a D. Suddenly, he's off the team. It is fair. It is fair. Some school boards say it is and have already passed rules like this. They say that grades must come first. Others disagree. They say that sports are healthy. Positive activities that should not be linked to grades. What do you think? Should athletes with bad grades be kicked up the team? All right. Thank you for that. Okay. Can you read the word struggled? Struggle. Despite. Despite. Suddenly. Sudden, suddenly. All right. So here, the context says that there's a great guy that um, he's doing well so much in the school. And despite his troubles in school, your friend has a few things going for him. He says that he happens to be the very best hockey goalie in the state. So this part, he is, he has, he has good grades and he excels in any, 
in any sports or the sports hockey. Do you play hockey, Vie? No, I don't. Oh, no. So what sport do you play? Do you have any sports? I play, I play football and basketball. Wow, you played that one. So how was it? How was uh you're playing with us with that sports? Foot, football, and football. I don't like much, but basketball. I, I really like it. Oh, that's good. So. Why you don't like uh football? Why because, you don't like much football? Uh, because my friends always are going, so oh. so I don't like it. Oh, that's why. So it's okay. Just don't, just don't be with them. So that you will not be joined with their argue, okay? Okay. So they say that if you don't have at least C average, you can't play sports. So do you agree with that, Viet? That if you want to play sports, you should get an A? Um, I disagree. Why? Why you disagree with that? Uh, situation. Uh, because because sport is sport is sport, sport is healthy. Yes, yeah, sports is healthy, and sport doesn't define your grades. That is for us. That is our opinion. So sports has based on the abilities right the skills that we have right so what can yeah. grades do when you are playing volleyball or when you're playing basketball right so yeah. here let's continue reading this one thank you for that yeah thank you for sharing so in this part, suddenly he's off the he's off the team because his other friend got D, and you can't join the team if you don't have at least a C C average, right? So they say yeah. that grades must come first, but some. Uh, but others also disagree that grades must come first. So, it is confusing, right, Viet? So, here, we will know their thoughts of, is it a yes in this part? Is it yes that it is... That student athletes should have good grades to play sports, or no. The at the athletes should get uh should not get good grades when you need to play sports. Okay, can you read this part, Fed? Who is about learning? Everything else should come second. It's wrong that kids can go through school without learning much. This rule will make kids work harder to get a good education. Anyway, it's hard to become a professional athlete. People need something to fall back on. And even if someone does go pro, they still need how to know how to read and do math. Okay. So, school is about learning. We all know that, right, Vet? So, everything else should come second. So, school must be always put first. Okay? 
are you are you still listening to teacher Mary Viet? Yes. Okay. So here, school must be put first. So sports or everything else should become second. So it's wrong that kids can go through school without learning much. Do you uh, recognize yet that some some of the students in your school does excel in any sports but when it comes to your lessons they can't answer do you experience or do you see some of your friends like that yet mm, yes like they they are good in sports but they're not good in in lessons right so this oh, yeah. rule will make kids work harder to get a good education. So anyways, it's hard to become a professional athlete, right? For you, Vet, is it hard or not hard to become a professional athlete? Um, it's hard. Yes, it's very hard since you will undergo many trials many difficulties that you need to achieve first before you become a professional athlete so people need something to fall back on and even if someone doesn't go pro like you are you are so good in that thing they still need to know how to read and do math do you agree with this, Vyat? Yeah? That even if that you are so good in any sports, but you still need to learn how to read, how to write, how to solve, right? Yes. Yes, so... In this part, let's proceed to the no part, which they don't agree that the athletes should have good grades to play sports. Okay, can you read this part? Sports and grades have nothing to do with each other. Okay, proceed. If a kid, kid can become a great athlete, not, nothing should stand in the way. And even if some kids have no chance of going pro, pro they shouldn't be punished for the grades. Think of everything you learn from sport. Teamwork, fast thinking, discipline, and other skills. There are lots of things you need to know to survive in a world. And you can't learn the, them all from books. All right. Thank you for that, Vet. So you can really, you can punish a, a kid if he or she is not a pro in any sports, right? So you cannot, you cannot base your grades in playing sports do you agree with that yes i agree with that yeah so in sports there is teamwork fast thinking discipline and other skills although you need to have a good grade since you are you are learning from it but you are playing sports, but not you're not in the classroom, which in a classroom there is learnings, uh, any kind of lessons. But in sports, you are playing. You are focusing on the, the game, right? So you're so when you're playing a game, the, did you answer? Did you ask questions? 
right? Did you get my point yet? Yes, I forgot your point. But if you're confused yet, just ask me, okay? Okay? If you're confused okay. or you have questions. All right, let's proceed. It's your turn. Consider both sides. Okay, listen carefully, Viet. I will read the... I for a while. Okay. Okay, your turn. Consider both sides. Okay. Imagine, Viet, that you are the star football player at your school. So how would you feel if you were kept out of the game until your grades improved? So how would you feel that your uh, you will be you will be um, what do you call this one? You will be pending until your grades improve until you get that A grade. What would you feel? Um I feel mad because uh, uh, because uh, because 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 I, I really like football and if and even and you and if I kept out in the game I had it in, I can't play football anymore. Yeah, so you will be mad. Yes, you will get angry because why would they kept out you from the game until your grades improve, right? Since yes. here in our both in our both sides, teacher Mary and Viet is is a no which we don't which we don't agree that grades don't define on any sports that you are playing right so thank you for that yeah. answer yet that's very much appreciated okay so let's proceed to debate number 10 can you read this part Should coach make the dark fur be against the law? Okay, so should coats made with dog fur be against the law? Do you have any dogs out there yet? No, I don't. No, you don't? You don't love animals or do you have any animals there? No, I don't. Oh, okay. So, what do you think, Viet? Should goats made with dog fur be against the law? Um, I think it's yes. Because? Because? Because if, if dogs don't have fur, then, then it can't survive the winter. Yeah. Because it's cold. So you are okay. You're okay with the dog furs must be must be against the law just to make coats. So so you're okay with it. It's yes. That. Okay. So thank you for that. Can you read the next part, please? Some people say making coats from dark fur is cruel. Others say dark fur is just like any other fur. What do you think? Okay. 
So some people say making coats from dog fur is cruel. I also agree with it because they make coats from a dog. So what will happen to the dog if they don't have any fur already? So they will be sad. Maybe they will be angry, right? So others say dog fur is just like any other fur. What do you think? Okay, let's proceed to the context, which which tackles um. What are their sides? What they think about? What they think about the given context? Okay, can you read? this part until this part let's say you are at a department store look, looking for a new winter coat you see lots of things you like uh, there is that's one coat that you have to have after a long talk with your mother she agrees help, to help you buy it. You're free. This, uh, this only one problem. When you get home, you discover that the coat really warm. It's not clean color. It's made out of dark fur. What do you do? Recently, a lot of people have faced this situation. One comedy action is accidentally stole coats with dark fur collars. So you saw the fur collars came on coat But they were wrong. When they found out, they quickly stopped selling the coats and gave people their money back. They didn't have to do this. It's against the law to sell coats made from dogs. But some people think it should be. What do you think? It's a dark fur coat be against the law okay thank you so here in the context they said that um they recovered or they discovered that the coats are really warm warm and snuggly snuggly color because it is made out of dog for yes okay so recently lots of people have faced this situation one company accidentally sold coats with dog fur colors so there is one company now that they sell dog fur coats so they already damage plenty of dogs, right? Since they are in a big company right now. And they thought that the fur colors came from coyotes. Do you know what's coyotes? I don't know. You don't know? So coyotes is a kind of dog that has a good fur this one this is a coyote yes this one this one did you see the fur yes I saw yes it. it's so snuggly and it's so warm to look at it, right? Yes. Okay. So, the next one. In this page, in the context, when they find out that they are using dog fur to make coats, they quickly stop selling the coats. So, they they gave the coats from the people 
And the people gave their money or the company made the, um, they, they put back the money that they are wasting. Okay, can you read this part, please? This one? Of course, it should be against the law. A dog is not a wild animal. A dog is a pet. In many homes, dogs are like members of the family. They make good companions. And they're loyal to humans. They should be treated with respect. Plus, the way the ducks are killed is horrible. They suffocate or drown. Wearing duck. Wearing duck fur is totally wrong. Okay, thank you. Can you say suffocated? Suffocated. Okay. So can you say companions? Companions. Loyal. Loyal. Okay. So in this part, they said that they agree that dog furs must be made with coats so they are good animals they are not wild they sometimes be a group of our family they can be a member of our, our family or right so dogs are friendly they said they should be treated a respect right I respect yes and putting away or killed or killing dogs they will get be they that is so horrible because they will get suffocated or drowned and wearing dog fur is totally wrong okay so that is the yes side which they agree that dog furs must be used as coats okay let's proceed to the no part please read what's the dif what's the difference between a dog and any other animal people wear coats made from made for foxes and People eat all sorts of animals. Why not use a dog to make a coat? It, it, it's ridiculous to say it's okay to kill one animal and not other. Anyways, a lot of dog fur comes from China. Now, most dogs are pets. Yes. So, what is the difference between a dog and any other animal? Uh, sometimes you will see uh, people that are wearing coats that are made from foxes. So why they can't agree that dog fur must be must be used as coats, right? Since many people are using coats that are made from foxes. So, it is so ridiculous to say that it's okay to kill one animal, right, Beth? It is so hard since they become a family member to us. They are a good, but somehow they are some dogs that are exaggerating or they don't control their feelings. They are not trained because they are just staying outside and no one's gonna own them. That's the reason why dogs are 
are so wild but not all yet not all there are there are some animals or what they call the dog okay so it's your turn write about it write an email message to your senator explaining either why dog fur cuts should be outlawed should be outlawed or why they should be kept legal okay so in this part you will i will act as the senator and you will write me something that explains why dog fur coats should be outlawed or why they should be kept legal so it questions that why dog fur coats should be out of the law or why should they be kept legal all right just let me know if you didn't understand yet okay so why do why do for for you for you yet just just tell it to teacher just don't write it down okay so for you okay. vet why dog fur coats should be put in illegal let's do it step by step so that you can understand more the context given in debate number 10 so why dog fur coats should be put in illegal or why is it bad why is it not good that we should make fur coats from dog uh, um i think it's bad because as you see they're killing dogs and dogs are, are animals and they sh shouldn't be killed okay thank you so the next one why they should be kept legal so why is it the um fur coats should not be illegal anymore so why do they need to outlaw the dog fur coats okay that Okay, so why do they need why do they need to to kept it legal, not illegal? What do fur dog fur coats do with them? Can you say it again? Okay. I didn't so, understand. Okay, that's a, all right, that. Okay. So why do they agreed? They agreed that it is okay to make dog fur coats. So for you, why is it okay that we must uh use dog fur to make a coat? Why do you agree? Are you, are you still confused? Um, I, um, I, I disagree. Oh, you disagree. But in the question, Viet, we already answered the no part, which you disagree. But today, uh, let's pretend that you agree, that you are okay, that dog fur must be used as coat. So why did you agree? Um, um because it keeps people 
more warm in the winter. Yes, right. correct. It's, it's, and it is comfortable too. Yes, it is comfortable too. So all your answers are correct, Bet, and thank you for that. But suddenly, we don't have enough time left. So, thank you for sharing that, Bet. But I hope you have learned something from our lesson today. Okay. May I ask you what did you learn from our lesson today? Okay, yeah. Um, I've learned that should athletes have, have good grades to play sports and and should the uh, ducks duck Okay, thank you for that, Viet. And thank you that you have learned something from Teacher Mary today. So I will see you on our next meeting, Viet. That would be on Thursday or Friday. Okay, thank you for today.